It's a lovely morning I'm feeling blessed The sun is warming The birds are making this Oh, it's such a lovely morning Oh, it's such a lovely morning oh. Now, Welcome into a Thursday, an exciting day here. I, th- I think we're excited. Are we excited? I don't know about you that. You better believe we're excited. Well, we got, uh, well, let's see who's over there now. We've got uh, Amy. Good morning. Good morning. And somebody new sitting next to you. Who's, who's this? My is name? this Corey Newcomb? My name is Corey Newcomb. Hi, Corey. I am, I am here at the seat, the hot seat. How so are you? I'm doing really well. Welcome. I can't, thank you for having me. And uh, what an exciting opportunity I have here. Well, yeah, let's, let's slow let's down. Hold the brakes. Day hold one, the brakes. Yeah, minute one. Smokes. Yeah, <laughs> you got patience. Reserve the right to change your mind. <laughs> Pace yourself around here. Uh, Corey Newcomb, uh, brand new to the uh, not only the show, but uh, to the, the company. The and we welcome the team. Welcome, welcome. Well, thank you. And I'm I'm back in town, and what a great place that, that I found myself in. So I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited to be back in Titusville and the region. Um, so, yeah. We, a lot uh, of excitement. I got excited. Uh, was it last fall? I think my wife ran into you uh, at uh, at youth soccer, and uh, yep. she's like, "I think you need to talk to Corey." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, because I told her about uh, how I really wanted to get into broadcasting, it's something I've always wanted to do, and what a platform to be a part of because it's kind of a mixture of everything I've wanted to do. So. Well, we welcome you, and you've got many talents. Uh, of, uh, people are going to know you from here now, but uh, you're also uh, our new uh, sales manager. You're you're going to keep this company afloat. Yes, I am. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, there's none at all. I, I don't feel the pressure whatsoever. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I want to get out there and, as I told you, pound the pavement and meet some people, shake some hands, and, and meet people and create relationships in this, uh, not only Titusville, but the whole region. Yeah. Uh, our whole footprint. You got, uh, one of the things that, uh, that I love, uh, just getting to know you more than, uh, than I have in the past is just, uh, your love of, of this region and, uh, the people. And mm. there's so many people doing great things from, I mean, like all over yeah. Northwest Pennsylvania. So it's, it's incredible. And we hope to share those stories. Well, it's a lot of people like me coming back. Yes. And, and getting their experiences, you know, where they were, wherever they were, and coming back and utilizing those talents right here in the region because uh, it's always a good uh, to have an injection of youth and uh, people with expertise. So, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, we love, love this place. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, Corey, you're now part of the show. So Yeah, well, it's official. Man, I'm in. You're in. You're in. Well, I'm I don't in. know. We're going to. Yeah, you're going to test the waters out. Jeff Probst will be by <laughs> later. still sitting here. You're in. Vote you out later or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But... Amy, it's the bar is still here. Super yeah, Amy's Amy's still like, here. The bar is so <laughs> high. <laughs> Well, all right. So, uh, listen, you know, we could spend probably hours, uh, you know, learning about you, but uh, I think we'll kind of spread that out over years, if you don't mind. Yeah, uh, absolutely. People get to know you. Right. Um, So we're going to get into uh, some stuff this morning, uh, including, well, so we we worked with the marketing department because we we have a new open we just played, but um, we were going to incorporate pictures of us. We thought, well, maybe we'd ease, ease into that, but we do have... We do have one of the examples of the promos we were working on. And on the radio side, you're not going to be able to, <laughs> to see this very high. well. But uh, I we should post this later. It's the Three Amigos. What short one? <laughs> this is, that was a shorter She's one. Marty short. oh, that's Martin Short, yeah. <laughs> shorter than uh, the other one. So that's why we put your face on on Martin Short. There you go. But, uh, yeah, that, like that was uh, – uh, we'll go back to the graphics <laughs> I, I department. I think we need a new marketing department. I, I think we do, yeah, too. yeah. So sorry about that. We'll, we'll have to post that later. Amy's like, please don't post that. I think that. we needed a new marketing department. Oh. Actually, and I'll take credit. I, I hurried through that. I should have sent it to our graphics department and had Adam whip it up for us. Dude, that would have been great. I know, yeah. but I, I know that, like, Adam. that was not please. an Adam. Adam, job. we'll we'll get Adam to do that kind of stuff later. I just I thought, well, this will be my secret because it's it's that, <laughs> it's that bad. It's that bad. So, yeah. 
And, and, and we're going to utilize our, so we have uh, our, uh, our Stream TV Facebook page, but we also have a Morning Drill Facebook page, so we invite you to go over and like that, because we're going to start adding a lot more content uh, on that side of things, including some of these uh, questions we've been uh, asking Amy the last couple of days, and we got another one for you, uh, a couple this morning, see if you both can try to tackle this, but uh, oh. yeah, a lot of fun in store for us. It's a big day in uh, sports, Corey, there's a lot going on, uh, draft. Is that, yeah. that kicks off in the NFL tonight? The NFL draft kicks off. Uh, as Lewis said, um, you know, I th- it's going to be tough where the Steelers are going to go with that. Uh, they're in need, of, as everybody knows, as a quarterback, but where they're at in the draft, do you really want to take somebody? You might want to trade up and get somebody with more value because once you pick a quarterback, they're they're like me. They're in the hot seat, so... They got to produce. So I think that's something to think about. And for me, the NFL draft is so much fun because it's a both best of both worlds. You got the college football world and you got the NFL. So they collide. And they collide. And I'm there on Thursday night watching the, the, the uh, first round. Uh, so will uh, Willis or Pickett be a Steeler? Who? Willis or Pickett? Uh, I'll say Pickett. Really? I do. I think at the end of the day... They're going to take the guy that, that has been beside them in the in in the halls because Pitt and the Steelers, they have the same offices so and practice facility. So I think they, they've seen this guy grow, and especially last year. But I, I would take him. Willis is, is the guy kind of like Roethlisberger, though. He has all the talent, the arm, can run the ball, take hits. So that's going to be a tough pick for them. You know, maybe they don't go with the guy that they've seen. Maybe they saw more than than most have and thought, eh, I don't know if he's the guy with the physical ability. Uh, so I'll ask you now. Uh, what's, it's uh, the 28th of April, 640, 650, somewhere in there. Uh, who is the starting quarterback for the Steelers? Oh, oh. Ah, I would say whoever they pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, no, no, I'll, I'll give you that. All right, let me ask you this. For the Cleveland Browns, who's going to be the starting quarterback? Oh, that's that's new. the new the new man, Mr. Watson. He's okay. going to be the guy. Yeah, they're they're not going to mess around. Will Baker still be part of the that organization? I know. Okay. I would say no. Not that I'm a total expert, but I would say... Oh, wait a second. Where's your resume? Oh, yeah, yeah that says... It says total expert <laughs> on here. <laughs> it says idiot savant. More on the idiot part. <laughs> Uh, no, I think I, I think Baker Mayfield will be a starting quarterback somewhere else because oh really I, yeah oh, okay. I really do all right and that could be in a Steelers uniform I've heard mm-hmm. that I've heard that through the rumblings so there's the idiot part coming yeah. <laughs> as all the fans jump ship yeah right I know everybody's out of here yeah. They're tuning in. Well, that's that's a that's a Pittsburgh fan though, right? It's like it's it's one extreme or the other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, Michael Vick. Okay, I'm no longer a Steelers fan, and then right. it's like, okay, he, you know. Yeah, he's absolutely he's so talented. Why not give him a shot? The Pirates. Were they the 21 nothing Saturday? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it was the end of the world. And it's like, oh well, actually, they won what three out of four games. Yeah, they right <laughs> with the Cubs. So so you got to go. Hey, I think the Pirates are. A, it's a long season, folks. You got to give them a shot. It's a really long season. Really long. They're currently fourth in division, so there's a long way to go. I, I, anything else to grab your attention in the world of sports? Uh, no. I just looked at the NBA playoffs. They're going strong. Um, other than that, we'll keep looking at the NBA playoffs for sure. You have. Um, a lot of close uh, series. The only one uh, that there's a couple that are the east, the western side. It looks like you got Phoenix three over uh, New Orleans. They're up three two. Dallas is up three two over Utah. Um, Golden State won their series, and then Memphis over uh, Minnesota three two in the series. So it's really tight in the west. Whereas in the east. Uh, the only one still left is Philly, Toronto, and that series is three two too. So it's a really good NBA playoffs. And now that I uh, am here, I'm going to really look 
into those playoffs a lot more. So, a- Amy's more interested in the golf uh, rankings right now. So, no, wait, that's that's me. That's oh, me. that's Sorry. you. Yeah, I'm, I'm You're the more really the golfing into, guy. Yeah, yeah, lately, yeah. All right, uh, six fifty-three. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be back with a lot more, including uh, some trivia questions uh, for these guys and for you uh, watching and listening. We'll have that for you. You can play along with us at home. Uh, what's the, what's the prize today? More coffee. More coffee. Okay. <laughs> Get some questions over here uh, via text. Is that Corey Newcomb? Is that uh, the Newcomb family? Is that uh, yeah, that guy, the, the, the son of the preacher man, the son or the, of the youth, preacher the man. youth preacher man, the youth preacher man? Yeah, I've been knowing him around town that my whole life. Oh yeah, I've had many girls sing about this right here. I'm uh, sorry. Wow, <laughs> we didn't have to go there. <laughs> All right, ladies, he is taken. So yes, I yes, am. Yes. Uh, we're coming up on 7 o'clock. We're going to recap the latest headlines here in just a moment. Uh, but first, uh, we've been having some fun uh, grilling Amy with uh, some trivia questions. And, now I uh, have backup. You, yep. you do have backup, and we're going to uh, eventually put this stuff on our uh, Facebook page so people can guess along at home. And uh, I was hoping maybe we'd do that today, but that's not going to happen. So we'll just get into th- this. Is this Well, no, this one won't be easy. The other questions related to this might be. But uh, here, here it is, 10%. Of us have at least one of these in our car right now. Ten percent of us have at least one of these in our car right now. What is it? Oh, I think I know. Do you? You can guess. We'll, we'll, guess. We'll give Phone you charger. Okay. Amy. Empty water bottle. Mm-hmm. I've got ten of those in my car right now. I guess ten percent is pretty low. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that, that might be low. Yeah, but that's, that's not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. No, ten percent of us have at least one of these in our car right now. Do I have one in my car right now? This oh, is so much in my I, car right now. Yeah. I can't even. Uh, so play off of that. Yeah. It's, it's not something that you would just think about here. I mean, it's I can't It's even not the normal thing. Mm. Mm. All right, think about that. If you're playing at home, we'll have the answer sometime next hour. Is it a soccer hour. ball? No, it's not. A <laughs> soccer ball. We're coming up on uh, 7 o'clock. We have your headlines next. All right, it is a uh, Thursday morning, 28th day here in April, final Thursday in the month. And uh, I mentioned that, what, May 1st is coming up on uh, on Sunday. We've got yeah. Mother's Day coming up and wow. Memorial the Day. The prom's coming up, yeah. Uh, everybody get their taxes done. I ran into an accountant yesterday who looked fantastic. She's like, <laughs> it's done, it's over. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. Yeah. So everybody's everybody's good there? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we were like ahead. Yeah, I did that quickly. <laughs> well, the, the, our problem is we took it to the wrong accountant. Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah, we took ours. It, it was one of those pop-up things. Uh, it was the Bernie Sanders tax prep service. <laughs> uh, well, here, yeah, here Have you done your taxes yet? Don't worry. Let me do them for you. I'm presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Oh, yeah. Using my simple tax preparation <laughs> service, I'll have you paying your fair share and not a penny less. <laughs> How does it work? That's simple. We take the gross national product divided by the population of the United States, and that's what you owe after we triple it. Paying taxes has never been easier or more fair. Wait, how do I stop this thing? Hold on. Hi-ya! <laughs> and what does the Bernie Sanders tax preparation program cost you? That's the best part. You don't pay, the next guy does. The Bernie Sanders Tax Preparation Service, located on the corner of Magic Dust Avenue and Unicorn Lane. Yeah, Entrance so, is around to the far left. Great yeah, location. so we, uh, yeah, we uh, messed up there, I think. Yeah, I think you we'll might go, have. We'll go back to our hometown account after. Yeah, please do. <laughs> uh, anyhow. <laughs> no comment all around. Uh, so uh, we asked the uh, the question, uh, 10% of us have at least one of these in our car right now. What is it? What, what were some of the guesses? Uh, by the way, for uh, for those at home, uh, you guys continued to grill me during uh, the news break there. Yeah. And we got yelled at. You, yeah, you we did, did get, get I did. yelled at. Can like, you leave it on air, please? You're like yeah. kids because... Uh, well, we just want to yeah. figure it out. So what were some of the guesses that you gave? Because they were good guesses. The flare gun. Uh, the flare, flare gun. gun. <laughs> the Ju- flare jump, gun. You said jumper cables. Air freshener. Yes, that was a good one. First aid kit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, mom over there said soccer ball. Soccer yeah. ball, yes. 
or sports equipment. We would have we would have accepted that, but that's yeah. not the answer either. No. But it's soccer centric in the Rio house. So yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Year round. Year round. Yeah. I'm like what, I what, always what, say, oh, I'm going to clean my car. What's in your car, soccer. Corey? <laughs> uh, currently. What about a basketball? I think you have a. Your son plays basketball. Yeah, he no, he actually he plays soccer. Okay. So I we have. Um, I do have soccer cleats in there. I have a baby seat for my five-year-old daughter. I have a stroller, just in case we had to get it out. For you? Uh, depends uh, on to be you. Ter- yeah, to be determined. We'll Did, to be determined. Yeah, don't ask that question. Um, who? What else do I have? I have a couple bills that I should probably get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I have a beautiful... Oh, that would have been a good uh, guess, Yeah. Too. Bills. Bills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I also have a beautiful Titus Will Rocket blanket that I lay across the seat because my kids have uh, had every fast food uh, restaurant inside my car. So well, that and that leads to the actual answer. Yeah. So I will, uh, let me ask again. You guys can answer it together. Ten uh, percent of us have at least one of these in our car right now. What is it? French, French fries. fries. French fry. Yeah, French fry. Not sometimes it's cereal. Sometimes Not it's a pop tart. Yeah. Sometimes it's a chicken nugget. Uh, chicken. Oh, those are. Yeah. Like, yeah, those are bad. Occasionally, I, let the dog in the car to clean it out. I found one of those mixed fruit cups. Oh yeah. Put the full one inside underneath my seat when I was cleaning out my car. I'm not sure how long. Oh. It was kind of like your crock pot. Uh, We're not really sure. Was what, it in a solid state? It was in a solid time? state. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Mm-mm. That's always fun, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hey, while we're on the topic of food, uh, yeah. this is interesting. Um, you can um, you can have cereal in your with your orange juice. So instead of milk, you'd use orange juice. Uh, What's wrong with you? The yeah. uh, Tropicana Company has announced a new product hitting the market on May fourth. Tropicana Crunch, a honey almond cereal designed to be eaten with orange juice instead of milk. It's described as the first cereal made for OJ and maybe the last. Um, Tropicana Crunch. It may not be for everyone, but it could be for you. Whether you hate it or love it, you won't know until you try it. I'm going to go with a hard That's, no. Would you try it? No. Maybe we should buy it and try it here on the show. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, yeah. I would try it. I would try it. I think it's one of those things where they're banking on, hey, we're going to make a cool uh, million right off the bat because people are going to come in and try it. So I think that's kind of what they're banking on. Whether or not it, it sticks... As marketing people say, a brand sticks, sticky. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, okay, so, but we're also three probably diehard cereal lovers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. cereal and milk. I mean, that's that's it. It's just the way it goes. W- yeah. Which what's, what's your what's like the go to cereal for you? Um, like honey bunches of oats, something like that. Mm. I love that. That's good. I love that. Th- that that's good uh, with or without milk. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. You can have that as a snack. See, yeah. We pick those up in the car. Yeah. Oh, for time. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit yeah, yeah, Loops, yeah. And Fruit Loops <laughs> Cheerios. I have yeah. a five-year-old, so we're there's all sorts of things in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My it, eating habits, I'm dropping stuff. Yeah, I'm some, picking up his food in the car. He's you, a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, uh, for you, what's your, uh, like, the go-to? So, like, now that I'm, you know. That sounds healthy, Corey. Old. That sounds too healthy. I know. I, yeah. I know. Well, so, like, now that I'm old, I do try, like, Crispix and Cheerios. But, like, honestly... Truly, one of my favorites, anything chocolate, because I like to drink the milk afterwards. Ooh. Oh, see, so I like, can't do that. Oh, the Cocoa Krispies or yeah. the Count yeah, Chocula. That, yeah. It's almost yeah. that season. I know. Oh. It's always that season. I think you just finished our last box. Uh, I, I made it lot. This is the longest I made Count Chocula last. Count I think Chocula. It was end of December, beginning of January, yeah. Oh. I'm very proud of myself. You yeah. should be. Uh, I love the Count Chocula. See, I went with the Honey Bunch of Oats because my girlfriend, Tina, always buys it and like so i kind of just piggyback off her yeah but i but, try- but, but if, if okay so if she's not around and you're going to pick the cereal out or you're maybe okay maybe you want to take a break from the healthy stuff yeah what are you uh, going for uh what do i go for um i would say frosted flakes something around the, yeah something of that nature yeah. Uh, what's the cereal that just got in trouble that they're investigating because it's oh Lucky Charms? Did you see what? Lucky Charms? Oh, that's like a lot of people. A lot of people getting sick off of Lucky Charms. Oh, like that's stomach, weird. Yeah, stomach. 
I just stopped, the marshmallow? <laughs> no, I don't know, but I stopped eating Lucky Charms. They need an all marshmallow. Because my stomach would, it's just, oh, I'd feel horrible <laughs> after eating a bowl of Lucky Charms. Well, and once you hear a story like that, you're kind of like. No, nobody's like, going to want it. Boy, that's a PR nightmare. Oh, man. All right. Hey, I kind of want it. Let's set yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Charms, you try it. I'm not. I'm telling you. My I'll stomach be a gets... guinea pig. Yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> we'll both be. <laughs> oh. All right. Who's celebrating a birthday today? Um, Sorry. She's got she's got two jobs, Corey. Actress. We're not going <laughs> to let her get away with it. Hey, listen, I queued it up. Actress Anne Margaret is 81 today. Oh. Anne Margaret. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Now, she was beautiful. in. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Uh, she was in. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, Santa Claus. Uh, yeah, she was, but uh, oh, oh, uh, grumpy old men. Oh, oh yeah, she, she was the the neighbor. phenomenal movie. Oh yeah. yeah, both of them. Those were great. Those were great movies. Yep. We don't yep. watch those. We, we have them. Yes, don't we? we should. Okay, we should okay. watch them. Yeah, we should. Um, comedian Jay Leno, seventy two. <laughs> oh, Jay Leno. Can you do Jay Leno? I, I hey, I can't do <laughs> Jay Leno. Hi, hi, hi. So like putting you on the spot. Or I right? know. I'm sorry, Gosh. I don't. Let him warm up. He'll learn, yeah. No, no. Let me, I, he's I getting thrown in the fire today. I am getting thrown in the fire. I'm okay with that, though. All right. Happy birthday, Jay Leno. Who else? Actress Mary McDonald is 70. I don't know. And none of us yeah, are I'm, gonna, I'm out. Does it say? Uh, it, no. It says something about the. she's attending the Battlestar Galactica something something. Oh, okay. okay. Actress Penelope Cruz is 48. Oh, you guys know her. Ooh, yeah. I do know yeah. her. Well, she's in one of the Pirates yeah, she's movies, great. right? Yeah. And, um, Which we should talk about that Johnny Depp trial. Oh, I, 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 yeah. Wow. Go ahead. What is, no, she actually Ugh. went to bat and submitted something on his oh, behalf did on she? What a Great Guy and her husband because she was pregnant during the filming of The Pirates oh, that's with right. Johnny and Johnny took. But not with Johnny. But not with Johnny. I, yeah, but no. Yeah. I can't. She's I'm, married to that, uh, 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 who is oh, she? Oh, the, 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 the in, Bond bad guy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Bardem. Oh yeah. yeah! Wow! And he said, "Shoot, like he has a lot of respect for Johnny Depp." You're hearing a lot of people come to the forefront. Yeah. On him, how great a guy he is, down to earth. Yeah. Yeah. Do, he does a lot for With his all, friends. All of he his does ex, a lot. All yeah. of his ex girlfriends, regardless of how bad their relationship ended, are saying, "What a great guy he is." Yeah. yeah. So that's like that. Even his ex wife, who he. Oh jeez. Yeah. Wow. Is saying how great he is. Okay, sorry. Actress Jessica Alba is 35. Mm. Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's I great. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, jeez. Right, next. That was a, yeah, is that, next. Is that it for birthdays? <laughs> next. It. All right, if you're celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to you from all of us. Now, over to what we're celebrating today. All right, it's Workers' Memorial Day. <laughs> oh. Take that doesn't kids. sound good, does it? No. no that no. doesn't. Today's my last kids. day. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That what? does not sound good. It doesn't. Yeah. We do this every day. Take our kids to work day. Yeah. Or today's take your kids to work day? Yep. Oh, my gosh. We what? forgot something yesterday. What did we forget? Uh, take what's, what's the official, the, the right terminology for, uh, well, secretary. Oh, administrative uh, assistant. Admi- 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 yes, that's yeah, it. You, well, I, remind, I said it, oh, and I you? said okay. it again. All right. I Wow. You forgot sorry. that department? Yeah, HR is coming in to see. Yeah, me, so I know gonna, they should be. Sorry, because uh, you hi- you hired me. I think they're wondering what's going well, on. Well, that's one of the things. We're wondering, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. A- Amy's actually the, the HR department. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. So, what else are we <laughs> celebrating today? Stop food waste day. Waste not, want not. You should see our fridge. No. I told I told Corey. I apologize. It's like a college dorm in here. Yeah. You mentioned the crock pot that was here for a year. It looks like a, my frat house. Like a local science teacher and say, "Hey, <laughs> come, <laughs> come check this out." There's something in Bring that fridge class. will cure. Uh, something will cure something if you yeah. come and let's take get it. a local. Yeah, from the region, please yeah. come down and see. <laughs> Easily cure nausea. Yeah, exactly. Um, National Kids and Pets Day. Oh, that's that's cool. National. Do you, Super- do you have any pets, Corey? Just- Mm, yeah. Not uh, the kids. Kids don't count. Yeah, ki- I was thinking the kids off the bat. Um, no, I have, we have a little, a cat, a fat cat, actually. Okay. Her name's Lily. Okay. Shout out to Lily. <laughs> and what were you saying? You told me, I think you told me that I wasn't allowed to post pictures of our kids and our pets. Yeah, go, whatever mm. you want to do today. Oh. Well, it's not like I listen to you anyways. <laughs> National Superhero <laughs> Day. Uh, National Superhero. Who's yours? Batman. 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 I don't. I don't know. I go oh. back and forth. I love Iron Man. You, you, in fact, you said, "Hey, let's watch Iron Man tonight." Yeah, yeah. Is it because of Robert Downey Jr.? Maybe. 
Yeah. Oh, mm. hey. Okay. No, next. there's a lot. Next. Yeah, right? Please, next. Gosh. Yeah. Love the Avengers. Um, yeah. National Bravehearts Day. Oh. National Blueberry Pie Day. Great Poetry Reading Day. Oh. And, I, like, I don't even know. I've got to click on this one. I'm afraid to even say it. Okay. It says Big Ed. Big Ed's birthday. Edward Allen Brown. Who is that? Does I it don't, say? Um, he's an American reality TV star. Oh, that explains he's it. He's most <laughs> like, famous. Who is that? Corey's not the president of that family. For fan his <laughs> work on the show 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, pick something there to celebrate. Oh, I've seen him, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Corey's up on... Yeah. Yeah, I'm up on pop culture. Good job. So, All you right. know, celebrate Ed if you must. We'll be back right after this. Did you do that when the camera's on? No way. Yeah, you should. That, that would be fun. That's a mbop. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, so this other, this is uh, quite uh, interesting too uh, in the news. Um, a new product. Uh, I've always wanted one of these. Never, never had the opportunity to get one. Uh, clap on, clap off. Do oh, they yeah. still sell those? I don't I'm know. sure they do. Uh, so you, you know, you remember the, you clap. Yep. And the lights would t- come on or yeah. turn off and then you clap again. They do the opposite. Well, apparently uh, the company really stretching uh, came out with a new product. It's uh, Will Smith, the slapper. <laughs> And, uh, For years, people have been turning lights on and off yeah. with the clapper. <laughs> now, enlightenment sinks to a new level with yep. the new Will Smith slapper. <laughs> yes, the slapper oh. punches your lights out faster than you can say. Yep. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Get the Will Smith slapper now. <laughs> so that's uh, that's something that uh, Too a lot of people should be. No, I don't think no. so. It's oh good gosh. marketing there from that It's company. been rolling for how long? Uh, yeah, it's still... Ho- the story still holds yeah, did it. Did you see, like, he went off some journey to find himself or something? I don't know. Yeah. But he still hasn't apologized to Chris. I mean, he came out with that tweet or whatever right. it was, but has that never happened. really. But they, I don't think, have they spoken? They might have. I don't think so. No, that's what they're saying. They haven't really, they haven't spoken, so I don't know. 